What's up guys, in this video we're going to be talking about how to make high frame rate proxies for Premiere Pro. This is basically a follow-up video to my other follow-up proxy video because ever since that video came out, a bunch of you have gotten your hands on the A7S III, which shoots 120 FPS natively. And if you've tried to make proxies, you've probably realized that Premiere Pro can't make anything higher than 60 FPS in ProRes. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a third-party application called Shutter Encoder to get around this. I actually discovered this application from another YouTuber named Better Editor, so if you want to check out another channel that is full of Premiere Pro tips and tricks, feel free to check his out down below. But anyways, let's go ahead and make some proxies. All right, so we've got Shutter Encoder here and it's a very simple window, but this application can do a lot and I would highly recommend that anyone who does video production you should have this application. We're not gonna do a deep dive on it today, but this is a really handy application outside of just making the proxies that we're gonna make today. So first what you do is take the files that you wanna make proxies for. In this case, I only have one, but if you had 20, drag them all inside of here. And then what you're gonna go ahead and do is come to this choose function button, and we're gonna find Apple ProRes under editing codex. Choose that, and then change this dropdown from 422 to proxy. Now come up to image and instead of source, you're gonna change this to 1280 by 720. We're gonna add an overlay. You don't have to do this, but I think anyone who's making proxies should add an overlay so that you know when you're using your proxy. So we're gonna come down to overlay and you have two options. You can add an image or you can add text. In this case, I'm just gonna add text because it's really easy. So what I'm gonna do is click on display a text and then just type proxy. And I don't really want this box here. So I'm gonna change the opacity to zero. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drag inside this box to move the position of my clip. So we'll move this over to the left and then we'll move this down. So now in our bottom left corner, we have a piece of text that says proxy. So we know when our proxy is on or off. I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. And now if you're working with log, specifically S log or C log, I haven't tested it on other clips because I just don't have the cameras, but so far with S log and C log, you need to make one more adjustment. If you are not shooting in log, you do not need to do this. Don't worry about it. This is only for log people. You're going to come to this tab and you're going to say convert levels from 0255 to 16235. You don't really need to know what that is. Just know that if you're working with log, you probably need to do this. And the reason for this is if you don't turn this on, the colors of your proxy will not match the original footage. Basically, these are just different ranges from the blacks to the whites. And for whatever reason, if you don't do this, they mismatch. We're not gonna get into it, but basically all you need to know is if you do this, it'll match just fine. So anyways, now that we've got all that set up, the only other thing we need to change is click on this box that says change and then point your proxies where you want them to go. I want them to go to this folder. So I'm gonna click open. If you don't do that, it will create the proxies right next to your original media. I prefer having them in a separate proxy folder so that things don't get mixed up. So anyways, from here, we're gonna click start function and it's gonna start making our proxy. All right, so now our proxy is generated. If we go inside this folder, you'll see we have one that is named with the file name, ProRes, and then proxy. But we actually wanna do one more thing to make things a little easier on Premiere Pro. First, we're gonna clear this list so that the original file is gone and then drag all your proxies inside of here. Click on it, right click, and then rename the files. And what we wanna do is we wanna get rid of the underscore ProRes. And the reason for this is because if you're relinking a bunch of proxies inside of Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro will only automatically relink all the additional files if it follows the original camera name underscore proxy. So in this case, we have ProRes in between that and we wanna get rid of that. So what you can do is come to this replace box and then just type underscore ProRes and that's going to get rid of the text that has underscore and ProRes inside of it. And now we're left with original file name underscore proxy. Gonna click rename. And now just to demo this for you really quick, I have another project where I made a bunch of proxies. I'm gonna right click proxy, attach proxies. And you can see all of our proxies are offline. I'm gonna click attach. And now look at the original names here. This has the underscore ProRes proxy. Watch what happens when I click and try and attach this one. It attaches that one proxy, but it doesn't do the rest of these. There's no way I want to go and relink all of these manually. So what we're going to do is go back to Shutter Encoder. I'm going to clear this list and we're going to go down to my proxies. And here are all the files. I'm going to drag them all in here. And then I'm going to select all of them, right click, rename the files. And I want to get rid of this underscore ProRes. So underscore ProRes. Now we're left with the original file name, proxy. I'm gonna click rename, and now it'll just take a second for it to rename all of the files really quick. So now as you can see, all the proxies on the left got renamed and removed ProRes, and now I'm going to come back in here, proxy, attach proxies, attach, 
And now if I click this, it's going to relink all of the other proxies automatically. See how it attached all of these? And I didn't have to do them manually. That's because we removed the underscore pro res. It didn't attach these files because I just forgot to make proxies for that. So don't worry about those. If you make proxies for everything, everything will relink just fine. So that's the reason you have to rename your files. All right, so anyways, now that we've done that, I'm going to right click on our original Sony clip here, come to proxy, attach proxies, attach, and we'll click our proxy file here and it'll attach. And now if we toggle this on, you can see our proxies on because the text is there. And now watch how much better this scrubs. Look at this. I can see every single frame as I scrub. If I go back to the original, we're back to not seeing anything at all. Toggle the proxy back on. Boom. We're working in 120 FPS for these proxies. Everything is smooth, super easy. Shutter Encoder makes us a breeze. So if you haven't already checked it out, make sure to download Shutter Encoder and make your 120 FPS proxies with these. Please do not use any of the weird interpreting workflows that are out there. It is broken. It is a terrible workflow. This is super easy. Just do this. So there you guys go. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. What's up guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about how to make high. Doesn't do any slow in the camera. You. Okay. Let's just make this easy. Don't overcomplicate it. What's up guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about how to make 120. Nope. That ain't it. That's not what you meant to say. Okay, you can do this. Come on. <clears throat> What's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be talking out. Oh, my goodness. It's so easy to say the line. Just say it. <sighs>